Hey, what up YouTube, it's your boy Mag. So we're gonna head to Micro Center for the 4080 Super Launch and see what's going on, see if they've got a line out there for this one. It's sold out online as far as I can tell, at least on Best Buy, there was no Founders Editions. Uh, one MSI card for a hot second, and then there was nothing. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if anybody is actually excited about this to go line up and try and get what they, the card they want at Micro Center. So they open up in about 30 minutes, let's hop in and let's go. Well, would you look at that? There was at least 20 people going in. They opened the store up five minutes early, it looks like. So I'm gonna park and head in there and see what's going on. I'm curious if they've got any of those MSI cards. That would be really cool. Another beautiful day at Micro Center. So you were here last week, right? Yeah. So I, I, I didn't even open that 4070 Ti. You I'm, didn't? I'm getting a super dude. Yeah, you might value, as well, right? The value is way better for, for just a little bit more money. Yeah. Hey, good morning.
So I just asked the guy, and uh, they do have that MSI one in stock. They got overclocked and non-overclocked ones. He wasn't sure the, the price on it. They've got just the, the cheaper ones out in the case and all the more expensive ones. He said he's got uh, behind the counter in the back. Figured most people would be coming in for the for the cheaper ones. Okay, so the inner, inner outer. Yours is actually kind of cool looking. Oh man, you actually have one. Sure, we got a bunch of them actually. Eleven sixty nine, huh? I looked a couple days ago, at MSI had a bunch of them listed on the website, but they didn't have this one. I was like, oh my god, are they only going to have it at CES or what? All right, we're back home from Micro Center. As you can see, there was actually some interest in this card. Uh, there was like 25 people that were waiting in line um, to get one. Uh, before I got there, I checked Best Buy before I left the house, like I mentioned, and they were out of stock of everything already. I really didn't anticipate that. I thought maybe it would sell out like by the end of the week or something. Uh, but I didn't think day one was going to be like this. Now, Micro Center didn't sell out. They still had quite a few left. Um, and when I talked to a couple of the sales guys, they did say that pretty much everybody was buying the, the 999 versions. Um, <laughs> funnily enough, the guy that you hear me talking to in the vestibule there going in, that's the guy that I talked to outside the store last week. Uh, he came and returned the 4070 Ti Super that he bought last week and bought the, the tough overclocked version of the 4080 Super. The tough overclocked version is going for 1100 and the non overclocked is going for a thousand. So me personally, I would probably just buy the non overclocked one and then, uh, use afterburner to put whatever the tiny, you know, uh, boost clock increases versus the two. Uh, you know what? We might as well. So here's the specs of the overclocked version. Uh, overclock mode 2640. Default is 2610. Let's find the non overclocked version. And the non overclocked is 2580. Uh, default mode 2550. So that's such a small overclock. You could just apply it yourself and not have any worries about it um, and save yourself a hundred bucks. So I do find it interesting that it seems relatively well received by the public. Um, but when I looked at, I haven't watched any, well, no, I did watch gamers nexus when I got home. Um, I haven't watched any of the other videos yet, but Look at the titles. Lame but cheaper. Uh, $200 discount is a distraction from Paul. Uh, Jay changed his title. Uh, it's not, it's cheaper but still a terrible value. And earlier it was 4080 Super is here and I really don't care. So that's what the uh, other tech tubers are thinking about it. Now PC centric is maybe not as... Hard on it. He calls it the mighty RTX 4080. Uh, tech testers, pretty neutral. 4080 Super Review, 40 games tested. Best 40 Super, 4080 Super Gaming PC build. Is 999 enough? So, you know, kind of a mixed bag, but the, the most popular uh, content creators out there seem to have kind of a negative opinion of it um i'll give my two cents if anybody cares um i wish that it was more um to truly you know carry the moniker of super um you know there's there's quite a gap in between the 4080 and the 4090 and somewhere in the middle would have been great for a 4080 super now maybe they'll do a 4080 ti and it'll be this that's pure speculation i mean who knows but um the problem is the 4080 and the super are both on the the 8103 die and so the original 4080 was a little bit cut down 
And so the 4080 Super is just the full 8103 die. So they can't make it any faster unless they go up to 8102 die that the 4090 is on and do a cut down 102 to make a 4080 Super or a 4080 Ti. The problem with that is that they're not going to use 102 dies for anything other than a 4090 um, because of AI. Um, they're not going to crank out lesser cards. They're going to they're going to use their their best silicon for 4090s. They're not going to cut cut any more down. In my opinion, I, that's just how I feel about it. But um, so 4080 super, you know, whatever. I guess this, you could call this, you know, it's final form, um, you know, utilizing the entire 103 die. Um, I think it has a little tiny bit faster uh, clock speed, but um, the main thing is the price drop. You know, the, the base price now is $9.99 instead of $11.99. Um, it's still fairly expensive, right? But uh really if you're in that kind of that neck of the woods um there i don't think you've got a better option than a 4080 super um with the caveat of i say that because i really like to use the nvidia suite of features you know dlss and ray tracing in particular so the 7900 xtx might be a better option or a better value for someone else out there um as a lot of these reviews are showing the 7900 xtx is right at or beating the 4080 super in terms of pure rasterization so um that's up going to be up to you to decide you know if you want to go nvidia versus amd for what feature set you like better i right now prefer nvidia you know i'm waiting for amd to kick the door down and, and do something really cool so at the end of the day, you do, you, you know, you've got to look at the price, price to performance, uh, you know, between the NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. But, uh, me personally at a thousand bucks, I'd go for a 4080 super. I don't know that, you know, it's worth 11, 12, you know, like that MSI that I really like, you know, is that worth $169 to get that aesthetic? Um, <laughs> it might be, it's pretty cool. Um, I don't think that any of these other, I don't think any of the AIB models are going to perform any better than the Founders Edition or really than each other. You know, they're going to be, you know, the uh, Gamers Nexus says, you know, the 4080 Super is a 1% to 3% gain in performance over the 4080. Well, the AIB cards, you know, maybe there's another 1% to 3% there, maybe. Um, so, you know, I would get a $1,000 one if I was going to get one. But also you might want to wait and see what AMD does because they've already dropped the price on the 7900 XT. There might be further price cuts coming and we might see the 7900 XTX drop down to, you know, 850 or something. And if that's 850, ugh, man, you know, that's, that thing is a, is a monster. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, I was playing Avatar last night, trying out uh, fluid motion frames and, uh, frame generation and whatnot. I, I w was once again super impressed with the overall performance of that thing. I was playing with um, un in unobtainium mode with FSR three and frame generation enabled, um, consistently getting over a hundred FPS, and it looked gorgeous. Um, in ultra settings, I was getting uh, one ninety two hundred. Uh, again, FSR three quality with frame generation. And then with fluid motion frames on, I was getting like 380, 400 in ultra and, uh, in unobtainium, it was like 190, 200. It was, it was pretty crazy. Um, in unobtainium though, there was a pretty noticeable amount of, uh, lag or latency, um, and more screen tearing and, in the ultra setting though it actually was pretty smooth it does do that weird thing where it like shuts off and comes back on when you move fast but avatar while it's you know an adventure you know kind of a shooty game uh, it doesn't move real fast so in that game in particular uh i, I really enjoyed um 
all of those features turned on. So XTX 4080 Super, you know, it really depends. But if, if, if price is a concern, I would go with the XTX. I mean, that thing just is really just a beast of a GPU. Uh, and you get 24 gigs of VRAM. Um, that thing is going to last you a long time. A long time. Probably, not probably, it'll last longer than a 4080 Super because of the VRAM. Um, and maybe there will be driver improvements that might improve performance even more. Who knows? So that's kind of it for the 4080 Super. I'm not going to get into it. It's a 4080 uh, with a $200 price cut. So let me know in the comments what you think, if you're interested in it, or if you're interested in an XTX now because you think the price might drop. Um, sound off down below. Let me know what's going on. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Really helps the channel out, gets, gets me out there to more people, and uh, we'll grow this thing, you know, huge in 2024. Let's go.